If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Appear weak when you are strong, and strong when you are weak. To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night, and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. Who wishes to fight must first count the cost. There is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare. When one treats people with benevolence, justice, and righteousness, and reposes confidence in them, the army will be united in mind and all will be happy to serve their leaders. Treat your men as you would your own beloved sons, and they will follow you into the deepest valley. Even the finest sword plunged into salt water will eventually rust. If words of command are not clear and distinct, if orders are not thoroughly understood, then the general is to blame. But, if orders are clear and the soldiers nevertheless disobey, then it is the fault of their officers. Move swift as the wind and closely formed as the wood. Attack like the fire and be still as the mountain. Opportunities multiply as they are seized. The opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. When the enemy is relaxed, make them toil. When full, starve them. When settled, make them move. So in war, the way is to avoid what is strong, and strike at what is weak. What the ancients called a clever fighter is one who not only wins, but excels in winning with ease. If you wait by the river long enough, the bodies of your enemies will float by. And 100 victories in 100 battles is not the acme of skill. To subdue the enemy without fighting is the acme of skill. Be extremely subtle even to the point of formlessness. Be extremely mysterious even to the point of soundlessness. Thereby you can be the director of the opponent's fate. The whole secret lies in confusing the enemy, so that he cannot fathom our real intent. Rouse him, and learn the principle of his activity or inactivity. Force him to reveal himself, so as to find out his vulnerable spots. If the mind is willing, the flesh could go on and on without many things. Thus the expert in battle moves the enemy, and is not moved by him. Attack is the secret of defense, defense is the planning of an attack. Great results can be achieved with small forces. In battle, there are not more than two methods of attack the direct and the indirect, yet these two in combination give rise to an endless series of maneuvers. Ponder and deliberate before you make a move. If quick, I survive. If not quick, I am lost. This is death. Ultimate excellence lies not in winning every battle, but in defeating the enemy without ever fighting. Move not unless you see an advantage, use not your troops unless there is something to be gained, fight not unless the position is critical. Wheels of justice grind slow but grind fine. It is easy to love your friend, but sometimes the hardest lesson to learn is to love your enemy. Every animal with blood in its veins and horns on its head will fight when it is attacked. Never trust a friend who is silent about your flaws, 